Coronation Street spoilers, Pat Fellon, the story so far ahead of Connie McIntyre exit. Coronation Street villain Pat Fellon is fearing the worst after knowing that his secrets could start to unravel on the ITV soap, and now it seems the killer could be exposed for good. Coronation Street teased that Pat's, played by Connie McIntyre, killer secrets will be exposed in upcoming scenes. But who is Pat, and what is his shady history in the soap? When did Pat Fellon join Coronation Street and who was his former wife? Pat first made an appearance in the ITV soap on October 2, 2013. Episode 8226 of the drama saw former Builders Yard owner Rowan Armstrong, Ian Pulston Davis. Owen was determined to confront Pat about his alleged bankruptcy and visited Pat's then wife Valerie, Caroline Burry, in an attempt to trace her husband. He later visited Pat and showed him his bankruptcy order while warning him that the matter wasn't over. However, Pat had his eyes set on Owen's girlfriend Anna Windass, Debbie Rush, and acted inappropriately around her. It was revealed that Pat had actually raped Anna during their ordeal. Pat has terrorized Anna since 2014 upon plunging her family into financial ruin. In recent months he even framed her for Seb Franklin's, Harry Vizinoni, ladder accident. Later in the continuation, Pat and Valerie moved to Dubai, but after finally seeing what he was really capable of, she divorced him. Pat was already bankrupt and Valerie kept all his assets and the money, so he was left with nothing. Who is Pat Fellon's daughter and current wife? Pat is the father of Nicola Rubinstein, Nicola Thorpe, and is now the husband of Eileen Fellon, Sue Cleaver. Last year, Nicola discovered that Pat had raped her late mother Annabelle Rubenstein. Nicola and Eileen have both teamed up and began to discover horrifying secrets about Pat. Who has Pat Fellon killed? After keeping Andy Carver, Oliver Farnworth, prisoner for nearly a whole year, Pat decided he knew too much. His intense confrontation with Andy and Vinnie Ashford, Ian Kelsey, saw a bloodbath hit the cobbles. Pat was directly responsible for the killings of Andy and Luke Britton, Dean Fagan. He also indirectly caused the deaths of Michael Rodwell, Leigh Dennis, and Vinnie. What does actor Connie McIntyre think about playing the Coronation Street villain? Connor, 57, exclusively told Express.co.uk, he's been a delight to play as an actor. All the dimensions of human behavior rather with him. He's capable. I think, of deep love. He's capable of the vilest acts, vilest temper, moments of compassion. So he's the full picture. He's actually a dream. He's got this strange way of rationalizing his actions. It's very interesting. At the end of that scene in the warehouse he says to Andy, sorry kid, you couldn't have lived with yourself and there's a strange logic to that. There's a logic that we kind of all would go. I don't think he could have lived with himself for that. So he's kind of great for squaring the circle. Of course, no crime gets left uncovered in Soapland, so there are now two bodies. One of them I'm completely accountable for. We shall see. What is troubling Pat Fellon this week? The Mills project manager Mona has already informed Pat that the lake at the mill will be drained to make way for more development. However, when Pat arrives at the mill, he will discover the pumping of the lake is already well underway. As the day draws to a close, Pat is seen tiptoeing on the edge after Vinnie and Andy's bodies start to become visible in the lake. When one of the bodies starts to surface, Pat begins to panic and is quickly forced to think on his feet. Pat will then become entangled in more drama when he falls into setting concrete that he has dumped the bodies in after trying to retrieve his phone. The villain will then start to lose consciousness, consciousness, 